Jacqueline Christian coming off another massive win into your second quarterfinal of the season. A lot to talk about here, but let's start two match points in the second set. Lose those. Heading into the third, what's going through your mind? Um, uh, I became a bit emotional when I had uh, the match points. I was a bit tight to, to close it, and uh, obviously she she played well but after that after i lost it i was like okay it's it's normal you played the deciding say yesterday also you're ready for it you just go back and you you live in the present you don't care about what happened in the second set or first or anything else but just the the point itself overall in the match what do you think you did best um i think i was pretty aggressive but in a solid way like I was talking to to my team about this. Like I, I know that against against her, you have to to be an aggressive player. You have to go for your shots, but not to rush into it, you know, because she she's playing amazing. She's having a great season. I mean, she's confident. So obviously, you have to work for every point. So I was just focusing to to stay solid and to every ball that I have, like to go for it, you know. This is your first time playing Charleston. And you just got two of the three biggest wins <laughs> yeah. in your entire yeah. career. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the biggest reason behind that? I mean, we came in Charleston one week ago, actually, and I had a few days to to get ready before the tournament. And I was like, wow, like uh, it's really nice tournament. Like I understood why it was one of the of the, it was the best 500 tournament that that we have. So I was like, I really want to enjoy this this week here, and I hope that I can can show my best tennis because. I love playing on clay, and I was really looking forward for it. So I said, like, you you have to just enjoy. And, and taking out three Americans and the hometown favorite, what was it like with the crowd out there pulling for Emma so much? You know, in, in this type of moments, I'm just focusing on myself. Like, usually, whoever I play, I'm not trying to, to look over the net. I'm just trying to, to do my thing and to connect with my team. And I was expecting the crowd to cheer for her. Obviously, she's she's the hero here. So, and also she's a great player. So either way, she deserved it, you know. And but it was not that bad as I was like expecting. You know, I heard some Romanians. I I also had like other people cheering for me. So I was I was good. I was enjoying it. And sometimes, you know, when you're also like playing against them, it's like you want to show them your best. You want to give them your best and. If, when it's silence, you know it's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You shut them up. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> uh, you talk about your team. You got a new coach, Javier yes. Marti. How did that partnership come together? Uh, well, we've been we've been in touch in the in the last year, kind of. Uh, last year, I was also training in Spain, and he was. We were there, like we had a good relationship. So now, when I when I finished with with the other coach like a few weeks ago, I just asked him to to help me and to see if if we can make it work. So obviously it's going pretty well. <laughs> yeah. A couple of top 20 wins. I'd say it's going pretty well. Yeah. Uh, listen, uh, when we this is the first time I've gotten to talk to you, but a past couple of years, I see you in the Transylvania Open every year and I see the, the Count Jacula. Yeah. I mean, do, do you travel with the Cape? Where Where, where is it? It's <laughs> it's not there anymore. <laughs> this year, actually, in February, I, I stopped wearing it because Transylvania Open, it was like in October, it was close to Halloween, right. it was like Dracula in the season. So I was like, okay, let's create the character. But this year, when they moved it to February, I was like, it's not there anymore, you know? <laughs> and I also think that Draculina, as they call me, yeah. grew up. <laughs> like, <laughs> Draculina she, grew up. <laughs> she's, she's a bit more mature now, and <laughs> she's not going for a Dracula anymore. <laughs> OK, so what's the new character? The new character is the, the player that I'm trying to build every day. And I just trying to be myself. All right, well, you're doing a fantastic job. You've got Daria Kazakina next. What do you expect from that matchup? Obviously, a, a tough match. Um, I played her a bit, I mean, two years ago, right in the match that I got injured. And we practiced a few days also. She's a great player, very nice person, and I'm really looking forward for the match. I just want to show my best, fight, and enjoy this beautiful place. It, it is beautiful here, and you're playing some spectacular tennis. Congratulations once again Thank you on so another much. massive win. Best of luck going forward. Thank you. Thank you.